Hey guys, so I'm Makoto from Ethereum Name Service. Who knows ENS or Ethereum? Okay, cool. So I think I can count half of plus half because I tried to explain. It's a new, you know, but like it sounds like everybody knows. But very briefly, who has ENS names? Okay, it's less than 10%. So I briefly explained that. So in Ethereum, uh, we have some like GoBDB Ethereum address where you can send uh, ETH to if you want me to send. That's the address, but you know it doesn't have a full name. But like what we do as a ENS is you can basically assign the name called matokun.eth. So that now if you go to any crypt wallet, like uh, if you type matokun.eth, it resolves to the same address. So that's the gist of what ENS is. And uh, yeah, and uh, who knows what smart contract is? Yeah, okay, so I'll just skip this. And, uh, but like basically ENS is just another smart contract. Right, so you can program and then you can put your own logic. And, uh, but like most people, you know, not everybody's a programmer, so you, if you want to interact with ENS uh, from a more friendly way, we create a website like ENS Manager, so where you can set the, uh, for this name, matokun.eth, uh, you can set the address. But so, so primary usage is to you know, assign the same address to name, but I get often asked a question of, oh, how do I, point to my website into this .eth address. But for this audience, you guys know that that's the wrong approach, right? The right approach is you put into IPFS, right? So we support that. So little, who has set IPFS hash into ENS before? Four people, five people, yeah. So, but like now, be, because it, before it was a bit harder, but now like, it, oh, oh yes, I think this is a bit old one, I'll skip. I think uh, now like you can basically put the uh, section on the content where you can put into the IPFS content hash. And uh, what we did is like, uh, basically there's a new uh, proposal called EIP1577, which we put the multi-codec, I think multi-codec uh, data so that it describes whether this content hash is whether SWARM or IPFS. So we can point to the, uh, you know, correct one. And uh, currently already some like a crypt wallet such as Status or uh, Browser, Opera, or like Metamask. I think there's some couple guys from Metamask here. Uh, they already support, so like from uh, there, if there's an extension or like Browser, you can go to .east and you can solve the, uh, resolve the web address, a uh, website which is in uh, IPFS, which is great. However, uh, if you, you know, try to share this kind of information, you don't know what like you have, if you share it with your friends, you don't know whether your friends has a MetaMask or Opera or Status. So we had to come up with a solution, which is built by uh, this chap called Jim McDonald. He couldn't make it today, so I was just trying to introduce on their before, on his behalf. So introducing is DNS. Guys. <laughs> Done. This is it. So. Yes, thank you. It looks so simple, but like this is, has lots of things in it. So like it, now you have matokun.east.link and it has a whole ENS manager in IPFS. And uh, this one you can do is like a, in any browser, right? And it sounds so simple, but what he did underneath is like, uh, basically he, there's a one, uh, basically he extended, uh, he created a plugin for the DNS server, which integrated with the IPFS gateway and the ENS. So if you try to resolve matokun dot is link, it takes out the dot link and uh, it goes to Ethereum address to find out the uh, IPFS hash and it asks to the IPFS gateway and uh, renders it. And uh, why you do that? So uh, for three reasons. So the first is like, you know, no browser support is required. And also it's partially decentralized, like everything under, you know, below the dot is link. Uh, like it's all decentralized in blockchain. And also interesting thing is like, a, because it's in a smart contract, you can, it's like API exposed by default. So you, anyone can integrate into your application easily. So one, and what else you could do is like, a, he al already also forked the IPFS gateway. So he already supports this .east link version. So we could think about integrating into that gateway. And another thing is we thought about, can we do actually .eth natively? And uh, uh, technically, we can do it, so which we will show, show off in a, a sci-fi in a private network area, but to make it in public, 
uh, we have to own the ETH domain, which currently belongs to Ethiopia. But that's it. And uh, there's the links. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>